Hello folks, Simon here. Welcome back to the channel. If you watched my last video, you will know that I had been having issues on the latest RC firmware when it came to the Compass. It just wasn't recording the telemetry correctly. And I know that many of you had also been having similar issues, either the same as mine or varying a little bit, but there was definite Compass issues going on. Now, DJI have just updated the firmware for this RC controller again, and it specifically says in the update notes that the compass issues have hopefully been fixed. So it's 9.30 p.m. out here in the UK. I apologize, it's a little bit dark, but I have been busy all day. So this is the first time I've had to really come out to fly. And what we're gonna do is put the drone to the test and just go for a quick flight to see if those compass issues have indeed been resolved. So hopefully you guys find this useful. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and that will just make sure you get notified of future episodes with the Mini 3 Pro going forward. Enjoy the show today. So this was literally my first flight since updating the firmware. And as I first took the drone up into the air, I noticed that there was, well, very little telemetry at all on the main compass interface. There was the home point, but that was it. There was no controller pilot icon and there was no drone icon either. However, at 138 meters when nothing had changed, I remembered after the last firmware update to the controller that all of the settings get reset to their default. So tapping the compass settings icon, then I was able to bring up the drone's location, which is that blue triangle or that blue arrow and put the home icon back at the bottom of the compass, which is generally where I like it. So that's good, but there was still no pilot icon. Okay, the green or blue circle with the little arrow on it, that wasn't there. So then I thought, okay, well, maybe we just need to calibrate the compass on the controller since, again, we did that firmware update. And as I started this, I did indeed notice that it didn't automatically say it was calibrated, which it normally does. So I went through the instructions and calibrated the controller. And what do you know? It fixes the issue. A simple calibration after the current firmware update. And I am very, very happy. The icons are all in the correct place. And the little green pilot arrow, which is the tiny triangle on top of that green circle, is all lining up pretty much with the drone as it should be. Now, it's not absolutely pinpoint perfect, and I've never expected it to be absolutely pinpoint perfect. But what we have now is some actual usable telemetry. Now, of course, in the last video I did where I explained all these compass problems I was experiencing, we went through all the calibrations then, including that calibration I've just done, and nothing was solving the issue. So this firmware update has definitely had a benefit here. It really has because I haven't even calibrated the drone itself. All I've done is, as you've just seen, that quick controller calibration, and now it seems to be working for me absolutely perfectly. So I am 138 meters away from the drone, or rather the drone is from me. And yeah, you know, the compass is working as I would expect. And in fact, it's working better than it ever has for me with the Mini 3 Pro. This is the best I've ever seen it. I've always had issues with the Compass, but at the moment, at least on this first test, those issues seem to have been resolved. So yeah, I am very, very happy now. 215 meters away. Didn't want to fly much further than that because it was starting to get dark. But I can't see there being any more issues if I went any further with the Compass. It, it does seem to be working now. So yeah. Very pleased, very chuffed. And in all fairness to DJI, this was a fast turnaround. So the firmware that went out that broke the compass, I believe that was only yesterday, or no, the day before yesterday, so two days ago. And in two days, they've pushed out this fix. And as I say, it does seem to be doing the job. So yeah, good on DJI for actually being on the ball here and correcting the error, whatever it was. But let's go ahead now and bring the drone back home. Right then, folks. Well, I want to keep this video short and sweet. There's really no reason to drag it out. 
that test you just saw me do, that was the first time flying this drone since I've updated the RC controller to this latest firmware and preliminary results are very positive. The issues I was experiencing with the compass have been fixed it would appear so yeah very very happy about that and i appreciate dji being on the case after we reported those problems and getting them sorted very quickly but you know it's not just about me what about you guys i know many of you had been telling me about the compass issues you had been facing some of them a little different to mine have you found that this update has been a positive one for you in getting those issues remedied please do share your thoughts down in the comments as always thank you so much for stopping by this relatively quick video but hopefully a helpful one and please do tap the thumbs up button if you enjoyed see you soon guys goodbye